Have you ever wondered what happens when a Department of Defense or DOD contract is terminated? It's a complex process with different types of termination, each having its own procedures and implications. Today, we'll delve into this intricate world and break down four types of contract terminations. Our journey begins with the termination for cause, specifically for commercial products and services. This type of termination occurs when a contractor fails to meet the terms of the contract. Perhaps they've missed a delivery date or the quality of their work is subpar. In these cases, the government has the right to terminate the contract for cause. The contractor is then liable for any costs that the government incurs as a result of the termination. We then shift our focus to termination for convenience, applicable to commercial contracts. This type of termination is unique in that it can be initiated by the government without any fault on the part of the contractor. It's usually exercised when the government no longer needs the products or services, or when it would be in the best interest of the government to do so. In such cases, the contractor is compensated for work completed and for termination-related costs. Next, we explore termination for convenience, but this time for non-commercial contracts. The process is similar to that for commercial contracts, with the government having the right to terminate the contract when it deems necessary. However, the compensation for the contractor in this case can be more complex, factoring in costs incurred, work performed, and profit on the work done. Lastly, we delve into termination for default for non-commercial contracts. This occurs when a contractor fails to fulfill their contractual obligations, similar to the termination for cause in commercial contracts. However, the consequences can be more severe, with the contractor liable for excess costs that the government incurs in re-procuring similar items or services. To summarize, we've explored four types of DOD contract terminations today. Termination for cause for commercial products and services. Termination for convenience for commercial contracts. Termination for convenience for non-commercial contracts. And termination for default for non-commercial contracts. Each type of termination has its own nuances and implications, reflecting the complex nature of DOD contracts. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of DOD contract terminations. We hope that you now have a better understanding of the various types of terminations and the procedures involved. Remember, the world of government contracts is intricate and ever-evolving, and staying informed is key to navigating it successfully.